For more videos, visit ForTheSakeOfEducation.com Alright guys, let's do this problem where they tell you for the signal source representation shown in these two figures, what are the open and short circuit uh, car uh, currents and voltages that will be found. So, let me make a little table. This is A, this is B. This is open circuit voltage and this is short circuit current for each one and I'm going to explain you why. So for the first one, the open circuit voltage for A, if you were to plug in your voltmeter and you were to measure the open circuit voltage right here you will find that the open circuit voltage is given by VST. It doesn't matter what RS is. It doesn't matter if RS is almost nothing, zero ohms, or if it is one mega ohm, the open circuit voltage for the circuit will be VST because there is no voltage drop. Because it's open circuit, there's no current flow. If there's no current flow, there's no voltage drop at the resistor. Remember that the voltage drop right here is given by I, which is the current passing through times R. But since it's open circuit, there's no current passing through. So that's why it is the source voltage. It doesn't matter what RS is. And for the second one, this one, the open circuit um, voltage will be given by Ohm's law. Ohm's law says that the voltage is equal to the current times the resistance. So it will be IST, which is a current given right here, times RS. Now the short circuit current. Now they want you to pretend that you short circuited, you put a cable here and you put a cable here and they want you to measure this current I passing through. So that being said, the current passing through the circuit A is easy, again Ohm's law, V equals I times R, the voltage equals the current times the resistance, so I which is a current is equal to the voltage over the resistance, the voltage in this case is VST and the resistance in this case is RS. And for the second part, part V, the current is simply given by I S T. Look that we're given the solutions here and the solutions are consistent with what I'm explaining to you. And then last they ask you for equivalency, of course, because they're asking you for the representations to be equivalent. What must be the relationship? The relationship must be Ohm's law, obviously. Ohm's law is V equals I times R, like I said many times, V S T is equal to I S T times R S. So that is the relationship required for all these representations to be equivalent. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.